to my youtube channel i know it's been a while since i made a vlog or uploaded a video so i think my last video was in january and will be excited for another vlog thoughts been a vlog and now i'm back so now i have thought to continuously give out some videos and be active on youtube so in this video, I thought that um, I would answer your YouTube comments or my DMs about whatever questions you had. And I think uh, many questions were repetitive. So yeah, let's get into those questions now. The first question I was saying, Hi Rhythm, I love your group of roommates. Uh, how did you find the roommates and booked off campus house? I'm also looking for Indian roommates for this intake at Cranfield. Not particularly in Cranfield or any other universities as well. What I did was to join the WhatsApp group. So if you go into Facebook and just type your Cranfield University or Manchester University, whichever university you're going in, and just type in the year, like the 2024, maybe management or aerospace or something like that and you will find those whatsapp groups and you can join them there you can ask someone hey you're from mumbai here from india just connect with people ask them what's their uh, accommodation situation be like because trust me there are many people like you who are going to find indian roommates or the same cultural roommates and there you guys can connect and find a good house so the next very common question being asked about the spain trip and it's costing so the spain trip me hame bus visa fees deni thi and everything was included even the flight tickets um um hostel bookings uh, accommodation bookings and travel bookings where we used to go like we started in two places granada and valencia and all the travel was included then um yes only the morning breakfast was included and uh, we had to pay for our lunch and dinner so you can go out and there was nothing specific given by the accommodation for the lunch and dinner you have to do takeouts or eat in a restaurant so that was the only thing we paid for other than that um, everything was free and included in the fees what Grandfield takes from you for the MIM match only so the next very common question being asked is about the part time um, while part-time in Cranfield, I have already discussed in my previous YouTube channel, which I will link it somewhere up or in the description box as well. But when I came to London, um, I came to London in June uh, while I was writing my thesis. I thought, Ki, let's shift to London. Why to stay in Cranfield? Because at that point, Cranfield was very lonely. Like. Um, at that time all the classes were over and it was time to write the thesis and do their internship so many people had just moved out so i decided to come to london because it's much more happening um i like the city um i'm from mumbai i can't be in cranfield for too long it's too lonely and too quiet for me so that's the decision i made to come to london and um um london is expensive so you need to find a part-time job so finding a part-time job in london i didn't know was a struggle as well because cranfield mein to samajh ma aata hai ki ek wo choti si jagah thi ek chhota sa town tha wahan pe bhi kuch struggle karne pade mujhe um part-time dhoondne ke liye but jaise maine pehle bataya tha ki mera pehla part-time dominoes mein tha jo ki mujhe बहुत आसानी से मिल गया था बट आफ्टर दैट आई वॉज सर्चिंग फॉर फ्यू पार्ट टाइम्स बट आई वॉज इन एबल टू गेट एन ग्रैंड फील्ड तो मैंने सोचा लंदन में तो मिल ही जाएगा अब इतना बड़ा सिटी है एंड दे आर रिक्वायरमेंट्स इधर क्या दिक्कत होगी बट इधर भी दिक्कत थी आई थिंक मेरे को एक महीना या ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर डेज लगे एक प्रॉपर पार्ट टाइम ढूंढने को I literally went from shop to shop. Um, hey, you guys are hiring. जो भी ऑनलाइन थे जैसे मेन मार्केट्स जो यहाँ पर पार्ट टाइम कर सकते हो आप डेस्को हो गया सो सेंस पर ही दीज आर लाइक द ग्रोसरी शॉप्स जहाँ पर अच्छे पार्ट टाइम मिल जाते हैं एंड अदर दैन दैट यू कैन वर्क इन अ रेस्टोरेंट बार एंड पीपल डू दैट 
after that i got a part-time job opportunity in saint espresso um a cafe in london um where i was working as a barista so I didn't know anything about coffee before I used to use a coffee machine ko use karna. Like, They asked for skills so even when you go for interviews in London and go to a bar or barista They asked whether you have the skill to use the machine or not I was like no But um, I was very fortunate because at that time they were training new people And uh, I got in, I got the training and everything and I was like um that was like a perfect job to me because it was like close to my house um they were giving me the hours so i was enjoying making coffee like part time job is you need to enjoy it you need to be up to go to work just to do it you need to earn money so let's go if you don't want to do part time i will say that do part time do a customer service job do more where you can talk to customers and be an english crowd and uh, yeah um just and if you have the barista skills and then easily part-time milna bohat asaan hai yaha pe and i guess the most easy job is for a, a part-timer will be i think a barista because aisa bhi nahi hai ki odd timings hote hain iski subah chalta hai yahan ke cafe 4 5 baje ka max band ho jate hain 6 baje summers mein max सो so, ऐसा भी नहीं कि आपको रात के सात आठ बजे या दस बजे तक पार्ट टाइम करना पड़ेगा आपकी शिफ्ट शुरू होंगी मॉर्निंग एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंपनी एज वेल एंड द फाइनल क्वेश्चन द मोस्ट फेमस क्वेश्चन अबाउट द जॉब सर्च अबाउट द जॉब मार्केट इन यू के राइट नाउ एंड डू आई हैव द जॉब सो नो आई डोंट हैव अ जॉब राइट नाउ आई एम सर्चिंग फॉर इट um job market in uk is not very good right now um kind of hustling situation um mujhe ye baat like previous year students se bhi jab pata chali thi last year june mein bhi mere seniors were there who were finding jobs and uh, kafi difficult situation hai um even with people with experience of 1 to 2 years are even struggling to find a job in uk in management positions uh, i'll talk about my field uh, because i am connected to the people around me of my field only um i have people with like 3 years of experience who haven't gotten the job yet my friends they have studied from cranfield university or even some other universities there are some kind of difficulties uh, while finding a job because people here are asking for experience and as i've said in my previous vlogs that um i did my bachelor's in computer engineering and straight away did my master's in management so all the experience count as like a part time or um internship kind of experience so yes uh, if you are planning to come to uk for your masters um right now i'll say don't come um is it the best time no it isn't the best time the prime minister is changing right now i don't know how the new um prime minister will do th things in uk last time the prime minister increased the nhs fee for international students students i think it went three times the um regular fee so this has also increased the cost of living in uk it's too much and uh, other than that i'll say that if you have like experience for 3 to 4 years you can do masters or pursue mba or whatever field you want learning some skill is very beneficial but if you're still coming to uk learn some skills seo is in great demand in uk learn seo if you are going into digital marketing and just be prepared that if you are coming um there could be hurdles around you finding a job so don't worry you are not only one at the boat right now um there are many other people and there are people who have gotten the job i'm not scaring you but there are people even freshers have gotten the job after long and uh, so it depends on your luck it depends on your skill set it depends on your how you crack your interviews um it depends on yourself how much focus are you in getting a job and uh, applying for it also i'm working as a freelancer right now so ek freelancer se bhi income aa sakti hai so keep your options open if you are good at some web designing or counseling or you know seo skills or 
it's marketing digital marketing presentations and everything you have the skill for freelancing so be open to freelancing as well also guys if you want one-on-one -on -one sessions with me like if you have more queries want to know more in depth about the uk or the universities or you are confused between two universities which to choose which to go to um i'm gonna be linking my one-on-one -on -one web service down below so you can book a time slot with me and we can have a 30 minutes chat um about whatever queries you have about the job opportunities in uk or your part-time situation or the which colleges to choose so yeah do click on the link and uh, let's have a chat together so i'm gonna end this video right now and i'll see you guys in the next video and comment down below what kind of uh, videos you want to see as i'm not in Grandfield now so a uh, regular day in my life roaming around london asking like different questions about london what kind of videos you want to see let me know and till then take care bye bye